Hey guys, Megan Olivi here for Heavy.com. I'm joined by Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, who just defeated Kid Yamamoto tonight at UFC 126. What's it feel like to be the first guy to fight Kid in the UFC and the first guy to beat him in the UFC? Um, you know, I'm very excited. I got to give him a good welcome, like I got when I came to WEC, and uh, I'm very excited for, about the W. Um, I, I could have took advantage of a couple of things that he gave given me, but I wasn't able to capitalize on it, so I'm a little upset about that. Yeah, when you were coming down the hallway, Kid came first, and and then you came and you actually seemed more upset than he did. Were you um, sad that you didn't, you weren't able to finish or get that submission or knockout? Um, I was just upset that, you know, I, I didn't get uh, the submission. And like, when I fight, I always think I did a lot worse than what everybody else does. Everybody's like, oh man, you're so fast, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know, when I go into a fight, I always want to go into a finish and like, and you know, I always want to have a perfect fight. You know, if I had a perfect fight, then I wouldn't be here, I guess. But I'm always trying to learn and grow as a fighter. So just a little upset with myself. You know, we worked a lot of things on the, me taking him down and him getting that underhook. And I just, I'm just upset about it. So. Well, your takedowns looked phenomenal. I mean, he's a world-class wrestler and you were able to take him down at will. How much did you practice your wrestling? Um, you know, I really didn't practice my basic wrestling. It was just, you know, hands to sh uh, change elevation to shot and then come up to knee or kick or hook and uh, just really focus on it because he's really, he hits really hard and, you know, I can have a lot of power too if I overextend myself, which he did, and I was able to get the takedown. All right, now what's next for you? You've been on this win streak. You've proven your power and your speed. Where, where would you like to fight next? Who would you like to face? Um, you know, that's not my decision. Uh, you know, I have, you know, things to take care of at home, my job and uh, my, my fiancé and all that stuff. But, you know, I'm just going to go home and start working out again. And uh, what's WEC? Um, excuse me, UFC. Hey, I, I'm a WEC boy, so I'm here at UFC now. Um, I got to make this my home. But uh, go home and wait till UFC uh, gives me a call, and uh, we'll get working on the next opponent. What, what's your um, occupation? You said you have to go home to a job. Uh, I'm a, a, a utility man, basically, at a Carestar, a recycling plant. Drive forklift, package stuff, work on a big machine, so that's my usually my 40-hour week job. Would you, would you like to kind of drop that and be able to change full-time if, if this uh, UFC keeps going and going? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, that's the ultimate goal, but, you know, right now I'm still, you know, up and comer, and, you know, we know how all that goes in the backstage, but I'm always grateful for what I get, and um, I work like 40 hours a week. Until that time, I'll keep working and slaving away at the, the warehouse. Until then, I'll keep training. All right, well, congratulations. You had a huge win tonight. Thank you. Keep checking Heavy.com for more UFC 126 info.